morning it's um syncraft again and um we're in part i don't know where i was getting uh, the parts mixed up but uh, this is part four i think you could say it's part six because I, I did the unboxing as well and a close-up as well uh, before this um now today we're going to uh fix the undercarriage and we're going to fix the wings um, I'll show you quickly what I finished off yesterday I was getting uh, dark so this is day two you probably could do it in the day but it's best to just enjoy yourself and have fun because it's a fun cub I fixed that wheel that's what it should look like I've glued it in with Gorilla Glue because it's not taking uh, many stresses, you know, um, I think that would be fine. Glued it in really strongly. Quick look at that. And then we can uh, move on to the undercarriage. Right, I'll just put that there. And there you are. Uh, all you've got to do is put the collets on. Let's have a look there. And there, either side of the big wheels. These are realistic actually, it's a realistic, uh, real aircraft, you know. It's, um, I saw a picture of it in the snow if you search for it. And you just clip that in um, that triangle kind of thing. Okay, and then, once you've done that, just glue it underneath. So that that's quite easy. These two spikes, either side, then there, will have to spike into into here and here but if you can line it up there you could push it in first to start and and then and then glue it then like that so that's the undercarriage so that's an easy part to do now the wing you've got to be careful with the wing it's better so you don't make any mistakes it is actually better to do a dry run because even though these two can you see these spars are actually I'll show you close up they're different sizes look one's longer than the other can you see that it's by about a quarter of an inch there so the front of the uh, wing this part here, if you look at that, there's the, um, the landing flap and the aileron. This is the front. The front one has got the longer one. So put, push that in first. Push that one in first. That's the long one. The short one actually doesn't go the same way as that. You have to turn it round and it goes that way in. And then once you're sure, put it all, put the both both the wings together. I'll just drop that. I'll be back in a sec. Got it. And then that should glue in there. The shorter spar is at the back near the these uh, uh, landing flaps. I am going to put the landing flaps. So I've got enough for servos for that. Uh, what I was going to say is, you've got these two long uh, connectors here. Just put the little um, grub, grub screw in there, the washer, and the the nut on there ready, and that will be angled away like that. Not inside like that. It's away from the front edge if it was the front edge away from the front edge like that that's to go in the um, got that in focus that there the front is here this is the back and this is where the flaps are so that's that and you've got it's better to put all these little connectors together I'll show you them separate first. Put them all together so you can see. You can see what you've got. 
and what you've got is a couple of these which you clip together you clip those two together and it should look like like this there you are that's for the landing flaps Ooh, it's a lot like that landing flaps and you can have the two there's a two and a one say so there's a two and a one two at the bottom two goes there and the one will go there in the instruction manual it does actually say before you stick them in cut that cut, cut this and then cut that if you're using landing gear the back the top one one two three I'm using the so if you're just using the nail, you would be only cutting two, one, uh, two. But we're, I'm going to cut three, one, two, and this third one for the flaps. Um, you cut that and then just tape it back because that, if you look, it doesn't quite looks like the flaps come down a slight bit. Let's see about that. You probably could pull it in and glue it like that just comes down a slight bit so I might have to um, uh, cut those to uh, glue those in uh, this is slightly different you see it's got the little grub screw in there this is for the aileron there's two of these there's only two of those because so I thought I'd run out of uh, parts but that goes for the so if this is where the connectors are the farthest one, farthest one away is the aileron that's how you pronounce it and then that will glue in there like that and I think I'll leave it there and you'll the next part you'll see it all glued in and the wing together I might put the aileron, uh, aileron, uh, aileron not the serv the servos and I'm using the I bought the Emacs, you can see Emacs ES08, uh, the 8.5 grams, you can get 9 grams, you can use uh, metal ones if you like as well. Um, I'm going to the, stop there, so I'm doing these in 8 uh, minute, um, um, this tutorial is in 8 minute bits, so this is part Let's hope it's part four. I've got part three calling it two, but it's this is part four, I'm sure. <laughs> I hope. So we'll be going on to actually part six, maybe. That'll be the motor and things. Okay, see you in a bit.